Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me again here as we try and take control of this situation. Uh, we are on our way to the communications department. Communications. We're on the right track. Which means we're on the right track. All right, in the last episode, we entered this building and there's some weird stuff going on and we're just trying to figure out what it is. I'm trying to get some answers on what happened to my brother and why none of these doors make any noise when I crash into them. That might be the biggest mystery of all. Pneumatic? Oh, there's like all these pneumatic tubes. That's what these are. I thought they were like explosive. Nah, they're not explosive. I just assumed that they were explosive. Uh, it's been a few days since I played, so I gotta get a weapon mod. Badger recoil. How do I get, how do I get to that with a G? Oh, personal mods? Wait, what's this? Health boost, health recovery. Recovery per element, or plus 20%. Ooh. Let's see how this element pickup does. But that might be the wrong answer. Oh, but the shatter... What's it called? Exclusive to shatter. Okay, so shatter is the name of a gun. Or a weapon. That we can use that with. That we don't have yet. So I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, gosh. Oh! Dude just got... Beamed. I don't know that I want to stand here. <laughs> Gonna throw a pneumatic tube at me. Object of power. Looks like the heads have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, run, 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 Okay. Crouch behind low object, yeah. No, I... Yeah, no, that sounds like a really good idea. Do I want to go this way? Alright, so we have to reach that thing. And we're on the wrong side. There's nothing I can do over here. Make a run for it. Wait for it. You gonna throw stuff at me or do I just run? Wish me luck. Okay. I can't open that door, so let's just make a run for it. Oh. I don't see any enemies in here. Let's... Ooh, let's stay low. Hmm. Right. Crouch. You don't see me. Oh, you see me. How many does it shoot? I think it shoots three. Oh, God. Okay. And get me here, buddy. My, my crouch button doesn't work now. Okay, now it does. Ooh, oh, I didn't realize I was that close to it. Hopefully I can just run up to it and hit the F button and cleanse it. They're like pushing me away. Is this going to give us telekinesis? Floppy disk nuke can be bound to gain launch for telekinesis. He just to believe, it's director. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay, so that gives us E to launch. Alright. Oh. Oh, I like this. Okay, so we have like a force meter. We can't just spam it completely. And it looks like it does some sort of auto aim too. When it needs to, so I don't have to be super precise with it. Oh god. Oh. Yeah. Up we go. 
and oh i fell hold on i want to shoot this thing click the game at the carnival and knock over all the pins I was going to say, are they going to have me do it on enemies? Because I really want to. Oh, it does. It does. Heck of damage. <laughs> I'm going to like this one. Boom. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh. That's so good. You. Like that. You. Oh. Alright, I got to wait for that to recharge. This is so. Oh, I th I don't think I need a gun anymore. Oh, double kill. Let's go. Uh, the hiss is burrowing into our astral plane, our secret base. You must stop or mute them. Oh. Oh, I will. <laughs> I fully intend. This floppy disk is now bound. Delivered. The hiss is seeking out our astral plane. Who are the they were hits? gone. Cut off. When we're on that astral plane, we cannot. It. Just like you wanted, right? This will help you. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Can I grab this? Grab that. I want to grab the explosive thingy. The blammy. I have a trash bag. Take that. And then finish them off. Oh, that. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Okay, that almost killed me. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Run! 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 Okay. I'll throw a cardboard box at you. Oh no! I'm sorry. Oh yes, that was was hot. I get a little bit of health. Get a little bit of health. Take these guys out now. Oh! I killed him with a cardboard box. Come here. Come here. Oh. Easy follow up. Is that all of them? Music stopped. Makes me think it's all of them. <laughs> health. Okay, so we proceed through the communications department. Was that optional? Oh my god. You, sir, need to die. He scared the crap out of me. Here we go, another shelter. I think these always have something in them. Resources, at least. Uh huh. Correspondence Book Club, non official. Book Club Notes by Penny by L. Sampson. I don't usually read a lot of sci fi, but as far as space operas go, this was all right. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got really annoying really fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on Sunday, well, I know who I'm going to pick. That scene where they invade the city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms? And that space dogfight between those two ace pilots signed me the heck up. What kind of uh, what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed, not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into a space by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Well, Fun fact, I can now throw battery cylinders at people and put it through their head as well. Okay, so I think I think I did have to get it to get through this roadblock. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mailroom. 
This is this. Okay, mail room to the left. Which means we're gonna check out the right. Can I just blast? Can I just? Oh wait, I can. Get. Huh. Okay, not really. Get that out of here. I set it down. Yeah. Let's recharge our stuff before we pick it up. I don't, it didn't look like it recharged while you're holding it. Just wait for bad guys to pop out. That's all. Don't mind me. Looking for bad guys. Can I poop this guy? Oh yeah, nothing left of him. That's good. That's good. I hear the the. Is that was that Tomasti, the head of the communications department that's talking? You hear it? I think Tomasi's gonna be like the boss of this area. Because Tomasi is the boss of this area. <laughs> what they did there. I don't like those guys just floating there. Freaks me out. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take off his equipment outside of the building. Dude, I would never take anything out of the building if I worked here. I wouldn't want to work here. Can you imagine, like, you're like, oh, I have dinner plans. Mm, building shift. Sorry, you're stuck here until... What causes it to shift back? I don't know. Oh, here's... Oh, here's a cleansing area. What you got, bud? Oh, oh, clearance level one. This must open the door. Oh, don't. What in the name of what? Blech. Don't let mold hitch a ride. Hold on, I want to see that sign. Okay, we've cleansed this, right? Let's cleanse. Perform daily body check for foreign plant matter. Oh, mold is like a thing. It's another secret of the Bureau of Control. Okay, there's level one. Let's see what else is in here real quick. A bathroom. And doors that don't make... Oh, that one. Okay, let's check the other bathroom. Boys room. Hello? Anyone in here? Nothing to see. Nothing to see. So many different directions to go. Like, what if we go up? What if we go that way? What if we go this way? Lock, lock. Oh, shoot. Hey, bud. You're dead. Oh, this is... Way better than any gun. I'm never using my gun again. What do we got here? Ooh, tape. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for Chili last Pines. year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said, 
Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below them. Ugh. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. Dun, dun, dun. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. Bum, it was dark, bum. stiflingly hot. Luckily, <coughs> I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. America Overnight, we'll be right back. I... I personally am an avid unbeliever of ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts in the slightest. It's the only thing down this way was the shelter. That's just the radio. What's this say? Delays caused by house shifts do not count toward overtime. Socks. In ballerinas live at the oldest house. Oh, they have a they have a company band that performs for us. Very nice. More house materials. Alright, I think we're ready to go into this pneumatic room. Oh let's do it. We can fast travel. That's all we can do here. I don't particularly want to, because we're gonna open this door and face Tomasi. Maybe. I expected more. Yep. Okay. Hey, uh, you, uh... Don't, oh. Uh, he dodges. Oh, it is Tomasi. It is the boss. Alright. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh wow! Oh, oh, that just beamed me. Okay, we have to use bullets on this guy. You give me a new toy and then you don't let me use it on the boss? That's not how video games work. Oh, I just hit myself. Nice, 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 nice. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So one thing I'm, I, I'm, I'm kind of learning about this game. New, no, whatever. Uh, don't blow yourself up. Okay, did we... How far back did it take us? Do we have to open this again? Or did we already collect it? We already collected it. Let's go fight Tomasi. We've un... We've unlocked the door too. It's green. Alright, Tomasi. Let's do this. I'm sorry. All right, let's be a little let's be a little smart about this. Like, don't grab the explosives and blow yourself up. And can I knock him over? Where you at? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna keep using. Can I just spam this? Are there any other bad guys? There are more bad guys in here. So we can use them to get health at least too. Oh, double kill. Alright, we've got them down to like half health already. There are more guys spawned in over there. Run, 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 run. <laughs> keep safe, let's keep safe. Oh shoot, there he is. Ooh. Keep moving. All right, all right, that was good. That was good. Oh, uh. Okay. He keeps just throwing the rocks at us. 
which are pretty easy to avoid. Oh, this break. All right, we're gonna go get more cover. He does not move while he's um, aiming that thing at me. Got him. Maybe not. Oh, he just runs away, huh? I think we're part two to this fight. Second phase. I have a feeling he'll be back. You've played video games before, Let's huh, focus. Jesse? The hotline should be past the mailroom. Uh, okay, this is the upstairs of where we were. Hotline should be past the mail room. So, hotline chamber. Right, anything else we can interact with here? No, no. You hear the music? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which is. Yeah, here we go. Tea time. Hey, Malcolm. Yes, tea time's at seven. I'll see you at the course on Sunday morning. By the way, have you heard about this Tennyson report? Apparently, there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office trenches, looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would you? See you Sunday. Jim. Freaking Jim. Tennyson. Tennyson. I don't recall if that name sounds familiar or not. I think I did that without getting hit at all, man. Good job, team. That double kill with the table was... Ugh. Hello, you up there? Hotline chamber. Oh, we can hear the phone ringing. Hold on. We're going to read that real quick. Uh, Butte Summary. Butte AWE 17 Event Summary A state of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. A light switch cord. Um, event response. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at this location, which had been connected to a total of any number of disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled a light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected, was selected, <laughs> pulled a short straw, uh, was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house some number of days later, found in a sealed room by rangers Exploring a new area of the, but they're still exploring the house. Uh, the light switch cord in the Butte home closet disappeared during this event. Okay. People are. Oh, we got lots of goodies here. Alberto. Uh, Alberto Tomasi. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign, perfectly executed. Federal Bureau of Control. Did they use they use uh, punch cards for communication? Because they can't use technology. This Ranger, here's a new one. The Hiss Rangers are Bureau well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their Hiss corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. His rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by shielding of dense hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the hiss rangers are capable of applying to their situation, it is feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree, or 
is the Hiss able to tap into the combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. Refer to file for full report. Okay. Anything else? We. Ooh, Hiss Elevate. Oh, Floaty Boy. Um, Hiss Elevated Agents are. Uh, sorry, Hiss Elevated Agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies observed in Bureau para utilitarians. Some prefer to change their targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the Hiss Elevated due to their own talent in the area, so we can't throw stuff at it. Give me the ability, don't let me use it against the boss. Doggone it. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some Hiss Elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? Is it possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption? It's also worth considering that the Hiss resident can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individuals they corrupt. Refer to file for full report. Demolition. The Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosives in dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. His demolition experts are the only observed his variants or variations who wield the specifically built rocket-propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track targets, entities, once fired, making them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the Hiss restrict usage of this weapon to the Bureau personnel who train specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still, too many unknowns. Refer to file for full report. Um, I think his barrier and his agent are two we need to read as well. The his resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. His barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance source found in the vicinity destroy the Hiss entities in the area. So there was the, the one wall that I tried to walk through that I got hurt in, in like the last episode. Um, so it's saying I either need to clear the area of enemies or cleanse the, destroy multiple concentrated resonance sources. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when, cons when considering the his? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the his? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file full report. Agent, the hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in many of the corrupted agents floating through the Bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Forever, nonstop. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption, like spores or Wi Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter the next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents appear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. So we're, so we're not destroying them per se, they're either. Disip like invisible or they're just kind of dispersing uh, when we kill them. Alright. Um, we're good. 
Tomasi, head of comms. Now let's listen to this. Just got him. Just got him good. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, when the odds an altered item to show up inside a U.S. Embassy, talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? But they helped cover it up. Made it easy. Make it easy. What do we got? Oh. I hear the phone ringing. Do we go in? Let's get it. 